Wait, what are you doing? Warming up the car? Yeah, I'm going to take that sticker off. You might as well rip off the party's real sticker. Damn, so clean! So clean! Are you, are you new lug nuts? Right here. Uh, new lug nuts? This one has the, the, the key. Wait, right touch it. Oh, you bought these? The yeah, home? they're the same brand as these. Oh, I like the caps. Nice. What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to notch your frame in order for you to go lower and run bigger tires or just in general for like a slam car if you really want to sit low. I never had to do it on this car because my car never got to the point where I would rub it or hit it even at the track in aggressive turning and everything. But ever since I got these new uh, 225-50s, they're a lot bigger and I did uh, was it raise up the car but due to... I guess uh, since I'm not running any spacers, they sit more in now. And you guys can see my tires did get fucked up. And yes, that kind of sucks to really need some R trip 8s. But it's fine. I still take it for a track like that. But the thing that's causing this is that frame up there. I don't even, uh, you guys can't see, it's too dark. But I'm gonna pull the tire off and then show you guys. Uh, oh, it starts. What is in here, people? No, so dirty. So dirty. Or do swap on it soon, so stay tuned for that. Looking for a motor. Uh, but I'm gonna show you guys how to notch the frame. There's a lot of ways on how you could do this, but let me show you guys what I'm talking about first when I take off the wheel and jack the car and everything. So, yeah. But it's, it's alive. It does run, it's just sitting. Here's a better look at it with the wheel off the car. If you guys look right here, there is a straight line. So on hard dips, the car, uh, was it, jumps or was it rebounds and shit and it hits it. And then if you guys see right here, it chopped up the tires pretty good. Um, I'm not mad, it's, it's whatever. Oh, just fuck it. Still works, still a tire. So, and then. The thing I'm talking about, and sorry about the windows, I do have the fan because it is pretty hot today. So, this portion right here is what causes, your, like, if you're really low, you'll hit this and they'll gash your tire. Um, for me, I'm not like low, low, it's just because I have a bigger tire now. And um, how you can check too is by looking at it. So, this is all silver, and as you come down to right here, uh, they gave it, look it up. Uh, it's hard to tell on the camera, but where you can see that it's, it's bare metal, so it was rubbing this portion right here. Since I am already going to be doing this, I'm going to do the whole thing. Uh, what people mostly do is they cut it all off, and then they paint it, of course, to prevent rust. But what I normally do is I, I slice it, and then I hit it with a hammer, so I'm not like cutting off a lot of the frame. I'm just cutting it, slices, and then hitting it with the hammer, so it just tucks right in. And um, also, if you're running aftermarket camera kit like I am, make sure you, you don't hit this one inward that way because your camera kit might hit. And what you're going to do is hit it out this way. But I've done it many times where I hit it this way and it doesn't even, it clears the camera kit. And what you can do is you can always check by jacking up the car or jacking up just the knuckle and see if it hits. But I'm going to be making slices right here with the angle grinder. Right here. So, just like this straight through and this is literally all you need and a hammer that's it and you just gotta take your wheel off and this will prevent gashes on your tires and I mean I used to have a slime car and if you do have a slime car this could pretty much be in the way so you cut this and you'd be straight so yep that is this is just my way of doing it so I'm gonna start by cutting it putting gashes in it so it's been notch and uh, I didn't do it right here but I will uh, hit that all in. I don't need a notch. I'm, I'm used to doing this. So now all you need is a hammer. Just like, heads up, the bigger the hammer, the better. I learned that in the past, and the bigger the hammer you have, um, or the heavier the hammer, the more <laughs> easier it is to do. So if you're gonna be using a small ass dinky hammer, it is gonna take you forever. So just get a big hammer like this, and just smack away. And yeah, I'll show you guys uh, after. It's hard doing this with one hand. That is roughly banged up and I could make it a little more flush, but I know for a fact I'm not gonna hit it. It was just this portion that I had to, I had to get out of the way. And plus my car's not slam. 
And I do have the jack underneath to show you guys. So you should always check. Oh, what the fuck was that? If your camera cable hit. Now, you look at that. That is insanely close. So that's why most of the time people cut it. But since I'm not gonna hit it, I will be good. If I go up. Yep, and that's, that's it. You just gotta make sure you check that. But it's like super like close, but it'll be okay. And this is part of you guys could say is ghetto. Um, and you know, you just have to just gotta do what you gotta do. And this car is not a show car, it's just my little toy. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna spray that and then um, put the wheel back on and do the other side. And hopefully I'm getting my rear bumper today. My friend said that I should drive over to his house with no bumper and slap it on at his house. So, I might take this off. And um, I'm not gonna keep the cut rear bumper anymore. I'm gonna get rid of that. Also, I did actually get rid of the wing. I sold the wing to Broke Boys, so I don't know if they're gonna have their video out first or I'm gonna have my video out first, but shout out to them. They picked up the wing for the blue coupe that they have, so check out their channel. They do a lot of fun, like entertaining stuff. Uh, for me, it's more DIYs and stuff, but uh, they bought my wing and we'll put it to good use, hopefully. I'm glad that I sold it to them because I can still see the my wing when um, they post the videos, so yeah. And I'm just pretty much getting rid of the track look on my car. I'm tired of like the track look, so just make it look simple and OEM and then bring it through the track as is. So, yep, that, that's what's, what's up or what's going on. But I'm, uh, since I already had these off, I'm gonna clean these. They get mad brake dust because of the Willwoods. So, I'm gonna clean these and then put them back on. Do the other side, and then uh, hopefully, all this won't happen again. Kind of sucked, but it is what it is. It's all done, but now what I decided to do is actually put my fenders on. What I need to do in order to put these fenders on is I need to raise up my car, and there's no problem with that. I'm gonna raise it up, and they'll be slightly gapped. My fitment's not gonna be as good. Um, well, because these fenders are pulled, so they push. Oh, it's hard to show you guys because my driveway is angled. So this side is higher. But I'm gonna raise up the front and I don't have that much room to adjust the car, like raise it up all the way. So I'm just gonna max out the, um, what is it, the sleeves. Because got Coney Grand Controls, they use, you know, a Coney strut and then the Grand Control sleeve with eye box springs. So I'm just gonna max out the sleeve and then we'll see where it goes from there and then bring the car back for another alignment and then, oh. Actually, after I do my trailer on bushings, which I will be doing maybe sometime this week, which I have right here. These are the PCI spherical trailer on bushings. So here is what they look like. Really nice. And the rod is in here. So that goes in there. But it's bolt-on. You just have to drill two holes right there and it goes right on the other one is that to take a big ass hammer and smack it out i'm gonna take this fender off raise up the car and uh i probably could raise up the car with the car on the ground but i'm gonna take out this fender though and i'm one thing I'm, i hate about these fenders is you see there's a dent on top well i guess i can't really see it but uh it was from when we were wrapping the car the roll of wrap fell on the fender and dented it and made two fat dents. So, gotta fix that by putting the fenders on. And suppose I was gonna wrap these, but in, the guy that's uh, trying to wrap it, uh, he's, he's just pretty much like not coming through and I already paid him, which kind of sucks. But um, I might just wrap it myself and see what happens from there. But, all right, I'll show you guys in a bit. Raise up the sleeves. They're pretty much maxed out before it was like slightly like below that. But I maxed it out and then um, I need alignment soon after this also. And then we're both taking off the meshes on the fender so I can put it on and see if it fits. But in the meantime, 
I'm gonna take up the other side and do the same exact thing on this side. Raise up the same length. Passenger side is on. Put it all back together. Just gotta get it wrapped, and I might do that myself, but we'll see what happens. All the bolts are on top, and they're really good. And I did raise up the car. Now all I have to do is this side, and um, raise it up some more too on this side. So, uh, oof. and like I'm rubbing inside also due to the tires. Uh, all right. So roughly a day has passed. Uh, well, it's the next morning. I got the fenders fitted on and all that. And I shaved the fenders down also. So now they're sitting on the front. And surprisingly, I don't even rub. And believe it or not, I actually maxed out my uh, sleeves on my car. So, And also I raised up the rear. So the car is just sitting as low. And when I get out of my driveway and stuff, I don't scrape my bumper anymore. But uh, the fenders are on. I'm, I need to do some adjustments to this side, but the fender's on this side also. And I got an OEM rear bumper now from AJ. Thank you, AJ. Looks a lot better without the cut rear bumper. The bumper isn't in the best condition, but um, I'm getting the car painted to get that fixed and all that when I come back from Japan. Also, besides me getting this rear lip, I also did get, I mean, rear bumper, I also did get a OEM rear lip now which is pretty rare nowadays to find and friend AJ sold it to me also and I shouldn't be I shouldn't even be buying car parts because I need to go to Japan but I already bought my ticket and everything but this is the OEM rear lip comes with the hardware but he does have new hardware he's got to take off all this old shit but that's gonna go on maybe today when I get off work but it looks a lot better with the OEM rear bumper. You just gotta get that fender color match because it does bug me since it's black. But can't complain about it. I feel like this is my journey to simple and clean, even though it'll be somewhat not really like OEM-ish because I have the fenders, the hood, the bumper, and the skirts. But We'll see uh, where it goes from here, but um, yeah, and I also raised up the rear. You guys can't tell, but <sighs> all right, I am off to work now. That's just a little quick update before I go to work. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. This, like, up to you guys, and stick around for the next video. I need to make a separate video on about the Japan trip because a lot of people have been asking me how much it costs and everything, but uh, we'll see from there. Peace out.